All right, today I'm going to be doing a roller derby themed top-down photo shoot. Let's go grab some parts. All right, well, step one of any good photo shoot is finding some things that fit your theme. Okay, so I'm gonna steal my wife's roller derby gear. Oh, she left it all up. That was handy. Perfect. All right, let's see what we got in here. All right, we got some skates. Some deodorant, or deodorizing spray, because you know, you can't not have that in your roller derby bag. Alright, mouth guard. Okay. Alright, let's see what we can add to that scene. Alright, let's go ahead and move that into here. Alright, so before we get started today, we need to have some things to pair this with. Okay, let's take a look at let's take a look at what we got over here. Alright, got these uh, nice old natural wood panels right here. And they're not real wood, you can get these at the lumber store for like $20 for an 8x4 sheet, 8 feet by 4 feet sheet. Those are nice. Um, got these uh, wooden blocks over here. Uh, you can also get these uh, one, uh, 1 inch by 1 by a half inch uh, blocks at the lumber store, relatively inexpensively. So I'm going with a, a wood theme here because I'm gonna try and draw back to uh, standard like high school gymnasiums or just where roller derby usually is played at as these uh, gyms. So I'm gonna kind of have that contrasting aesthetic with, uh, with what we have here. So let's get the scene set up. I'm trying to decide which angle I wanna shoot at if I wanna shoot at an angle that looks like this so the lines are all vertical or if I want to kind of break it up and make it so the lines look a little bit more horizontal. I think that I have a little bit more play with the vertical side. So I'm going to go and uh, do the vertical side because I can I can frame things a little bit better with the vertical side. So I'm going to do that. Take a shot now. So if we're doing top-down photography, I want to make sure that you frame everything as well in your scene when you first take the photo as possible. Now what I mean by that is that depending on your aspect ratio you're shooting for, and I'm going to be shooting for Instagram here, I need to make sure that this fits into a square as much as possible so I can format it down to Instagram. Instagram also supports uh, 4x5 in the horizontal direction, but the 4x5s in the horizontal direction um, don't fill up as much screen space, and I want to make sure that this fills up as much screen space as possible. So, I'm going to go ahead and take a picture. Okay, well, that looked nice. So, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to actually flip it over to the computer, do a little bit of editing, and I'm going to show you the finished result. That was relatively easy to set up. Um, a couple things to keep in mind. 
that when you are doing your shooting that you should have your scene organized so that it's pleasing to look at from the top. Now what do I mean by pleasing to look at the top? Um, I'm going to flip it around to the other side so you can get an idea of the framing of the scene. So we have nice even spacing between the components. We're using texture. That wood grain there on the back looks nice and textured. It's going to fool the camera sensor into thinking that it's actually real wood. It's actually MDF, but uh, it'll fool the camera sensor into picking up that looking like actual wood texture. We have nice separation of the components over here, the wheels, so that they uh, they kind of you know have this interesting looking trisectional symmetry we got going on here. Now I know symmetry is not trisectional, but you know bear with me. Um, got. Add an interesting compositional element with the wheel just sticking out of a bag like you're getting ready to do things. And of course we have to have our uh, our devices to, to pull out bearings. Don't know why I put that in there, but it looked fun, you know. And it made sense to the theme. Also, I made sure that I uh, I utilized my my wife's derby number so that uh, she can uh, she can get uh, a little bit of uh, extra interest so that the people that are looking at it are like, oh, hey, I might also be number 562. So that's a cool way to go about doing adding a little bit of extra interest to your images. So that was it, relatively straightforward. Um, some things to keep in mind that the image that you get initially from your camera isn't a developed image. What you want to do is you want to make sure that you bring it into whatever image editing you are going to be using, whether it be using uh, Instagram presets or whether you're using uh, Lightroom. And uh, go ahead and uh, clean that up and make it fit your aesthetic. Um, very rarely does a raw image come out looking nice the way that you want it to. You always should be doing some sort of creative or uh, stylistic edits to your images in order to make it so that they fit your theme and personality. So I'm going to go ahead and fit that up and make it so it fits my theme and personality, put it up on Instagram, and I will uh, see you guys later. Thank you for joining me. This is Kevin Armtrap from Kevin Armtrap Photography, and I'll see you in the next video.